Hey everybody, Random Frank P, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to do some of the rainbow effects with the Corsair Vengeance K70 RGB keyboard. Now, if you've downloaded the software, you wanted to know how to do it. I understand it's pretty overwhelming because there's just so much different stuff going on, and uh, this is the software is completely revamped. And it's very different. Like I said, it can be overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to try to break it down for you and show you something very simple. And uh, like I said, we're going to try to get some rainbow thing going. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the lighting section up top here. Click new. And we're just going to call this the test real quick just so you guys can uh, really test it out. Now, uh, you can do the rainbow in the three different modes. You can do it in gradient, which is where you press a button. It will just pretty much go through uh, the color spectrum, which is kind of cool. Uh, ripple that will be like a uh, like a pulse effect where if you press G it'll like ripple outward of color and Wave which is just like a wave of color overcoming the keyboard. So let's go with wave to try it out So once you put in your uh, test subject there uh, what you want to do is go on to intensity Now this is where you're gonna start picking your colors So you want to right click in the intensity section hit add and you're gonna see this white marker that's added. You want to click on that right click on it and hit edits and drag where you, like what color you want. We're gonna start off with the red, and you're gonna keep doing this. As you can see, when you right click and hit add again, it adds another little white marker. And there we're gonna go, and we're gonna make it a pink. Now you can see what we're doing now. Uh, the colors are starting to blend a little bit, and we're gonna keep doing this for every, um, pretty much every color that you want on there. So we're going red, going pink, up. Oh pink to purple and we're gonna keep going until you get all the colors you want you don't have to space them out evenly like I'm doing I'm just a uh, like a perfectionist and it would really bother me if I didn't almost done here we're gonna add like an orangish color And then we're gonna end it again with red. Okay. So this is gonna be your little color spectrum that's gonna go through on your keyboard. Uh, if you look down here where it says tail uh, 4.0 lights, that's pretty much how many keys that will uh, take up horizontally each uh, light. So if you have it on five, there's gonna, there's gonna be a trail of five keys pretty much. Uh, so I like to boost that up a little bit to be around like 10 so you can see it and it looks more uh, drastic, you know, with your color changes. Uh, velocity, I like to bump these up a little bit because this is going to show uh, the difference in color uh, for that light per second. So we're going to have around 20 switches per second going on internally, but uh, that's just going to help progress the light along. It's not going to blink 20 times a second, it's just going to help progress the, uh, the light spectrum as it's moving along your keyboard. And duration, you can just keep around 10 seconds. I like doing the two sides because instead of just going from one keyboard to the other side, two sides, it really breaks it up. And uh, your little degree rotator over here, this just shows at what angle your little wave's gonna start at. So we can put it as just something random just to show you real quick. And what you wanna do is you wanna go and highlight, you either press all right here. That's gonna select every key on your keyboard. Go to lighting effects and then find uh, which uh, lighting effect that you just named it as. I believe we did it, what? Was it tests? Oh man, I have so many tests. Uh, I think I just did, it was just this one, I hope. And you're gonna click on the test or whatever one you just made, drag it over and hit yes, and now you should be good to go. And look at that. And you can obviously change it up every time you want. Uh, you can, you know, change the duration of the light, you can change the, the trail, the velocity, all that good stuff to fine-tune it to how you want to make your keyboard exactly how you want it. You don't have to do it with the full rainbow color, you can only just do it like dark blue, um, a regular like royal blue, and like a teal. Whatever colors you want, you can do. I just want to show you guys the rainbow effect because that's what everybody likes. So if you give this a thumbs up, that'd be very much appreciated. If you liked it, please do. If this helped you out, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. I'm Random Frank P. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe for more of my videos. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Random Frank P as well. So, alright everybody, it's been a little video for the RGB 
Vengeance K70 keyboard. Have a good day.